Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to be looking at the Doppler effect inside of Godot's audio system. Now the Doppler effect is something we see pretty much every day, um, but you probably don't really recognize it as being anything special. Um, now the Doppler effect is basically um, the idea that sound waves get compressed or stretched depending on if they're moving towards you or away from you. Now, this is very noticeable if you've ever seen a plane flying overhead. If a plane is flying towards you, um, it sounds at a higher pitch, whereas when it's flying away, it sounds at a lower pitch. And that is because when it's flying towards you, the sound waves are essentially close together as they are being pushed forward, whereas when a plane is flying away from you, those sound waves are being pulled away or stretched out. So the distance between them is longer, thus the pitch is lower. Now this is something we can actually simulate here in Godot. And the way we're going to do this is by setting up a taxi car that is going to go down the road and it is going to have a car sound effect playing and we are going to hear it um, pitching up and then pitching down as it goes away. So let's set that up now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the city folder, go to models, and I'm going to go down to where we have taxi and drag that in. Now with this taxi, we are then going to create an area 3D node like so. I'm going to rename this to be taxi. We can then make the taxi model a child of that. Set its position to be 0, 0, 0. Okay. We can then move it up a bit here and then move it all the way down here on the other side of the street. Now, the next thing we are going to do is add in a audio stream player 3D. So we're going to right click on taxi. We are then going to go add child node and we are going to go audio stream player 3D. Let's rename this as car audio. And then over in the stream property, we are going to go sound effects and then go car engine loop and drag that in. Um, now, if we click on auto play and press play, we should then be able to hear it. There it is. Uh, probably going to adjust that sound a bit since it is pretty loud. So what I'm going to do is I am first of all going to, actually no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the max distance here to be 50. So you can see here that this is going to be the sound drop off. Now, if I go and press play, you can see that it is much quieter. And if I move away over here, it's going to be quieter as well. And if I move closer, it's going to get louder. Now. What we can then do is enable the Doppler effect. So to do this, we're going to go into the inspector of our car audio audio stream player and go down to where we have the Doppler dropdown. Now opening that up, what we're going to do is we are going to set the tracking from disabled to idle. And you may notice that there is idle and physics. Idle basically means it is going to apply it during the process frames, whereas physics means it's going to apply it during the physics frames. Now, if you are working with um, heavily physics, physics based objects and that might be a better option but idle is fine enough and if I press play again um, you won't really notice a difference and that is because the car isn't really moving at that greater speed I'm actually gonna bring the volume down to about minus uh, 15 as well just so it's a bit quieter so what we need to do is set it up so that this car can move across the screen whoops so that the car can move across the screen and once it reaches the end it's gonna teleport back and do it all over again okay so it's basically going to be a loop like this so let's set that up. So for this, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new script here called taxi, and it is going to be of type node 3D. We can create that. We can then drag this onto our taxi area 3D node and open up the script. Now inside of this script, we're going to add in a few variables. First one is going to be an export variable called speed of type float, which we are just going to have this set to be 10 by default. Then we want another export variable for our max distance. This is going to be of type float, and this is going to be 50. And this is basically going to be how far the taxi is going to drive before teleporting back to its start position. And speaking of start position, let's create that variable here. So start pause of type vector 3. This is going to be where the taxi um, is at the start of the game. And then down here in the ready function, we can set our start position by going start pause equals position. And then down in the process function, we want to move the taxi. So for this, we can call the translate function, which basically applies an offset. And for this, we are going to use basis.z, which is our forward direction, multiplied by speed, multiplied by delta. And then we can go if position, 
dot distance to the start position. So if the distance from us to the start position is greater than max distance, then we are going to set our current position to be our start position. Okay, so it's basically going to teleport them back to the start again. We can save that, press play, and see how this sounds. So you can see the taxi, it's pitched up, and then when it goes away, it pitches down, okay? And it sounds like when you have a car drive past you, like I said, with a plane or a car, um, you have that effect where it sounds higher pitch coming towards you, and then lower pitch as it's going away. So that is the Doppler effect, and that is something you can fairly easily implement in Godot, okay? Really, it's just one property that we had to change, um, and you can apply this to all sorts of things, okay, to make your games sound nice.